I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Devil's Walking Stick. Aurelia spinosa is a deciduous tree or sometimes shrub that has several unique characteristics. It is in the Aureliaceae family or ginseng family. It is also called Hercules Club, Prickly Ash, or Angelica tree. It's known for its viciously sharp spiny trunks and stems. Devil's Walking Stick is a small tree or shrub that grows up to 30 feet tall and tends to have a small flat top. Trees generally grow in clusters and often form clonal thickets by sprouting from the roots. It has been used as a unique ornamental in landscape plantings and the flowers and fruit provide nectar and food for a variety of insects and wildlife. Devil's Walking Stick is native primarily to the southeastern half of the United States, but it does reach up into New York and Pennsylvania. It is found throughout Kentucky, except in the inner bluegrass. Devil's Walking Stick is found in upland and lowland woods and prefers moist soils and is commonly found at edges of streams, and it is classified as shade intolerant. The very large deciduous leaves are alternately arranged on the stem, and they are doubly or triply compound in form. They can be up to five feet long with many two to four inch leaflets. The leaflets have serrated margins and are blue, green or blue green and above and pale below. The leaf base or petiole is swollen and is often prickly. Fall leaf color is bronze red with some occasional yellow. Devil's walking stick is monoecious, meaning one house, or that a tree has both male and female flowers. The flowers are in large clusters and they are small and creamy white. The flower clusters or panicles are about 12 to 18 inches and occur at the ends of the branches. The flowers bloom in late summer, usually July through August, and are aromatic, having a lemony scent. The flowers are pollinated by a variety of insects, including bees and butterflies. The fruit is a round, fleshy droop that's about a quarter of an inch long. The fruit is in large pink-red clusters that ripen to purple or black, and the fruit ripens in early fall. The aromatic seeds are eaten and dispersed by a variety of birds and mammals, and the seeds will germinate the following spring. Trees begin producing fruit between um, four and five years of age. The bark is gray-brown with thorns that persist for some time. The bark becomes shallowly furrowed with age. Devil's Walking Stick is a moderately important tree for wildlife within its range. The abundant flowers provide nectar for many bees and butterflies, and the fruit is eaten by a variety of birds, including eastern towhee, cardinal, white-throated sparrow, wood thrush, and the cedar waxwing. Small mammals, including possum, raccoon, gray, and gray fox, consume the fruit, as well as black bear. Devil's Walking Stick was introduced into cultivation around 1688 and is still occasionally grown for its uniqueness. It has decorative foliage, prickly stems, large showy flower clusters, and distinctive fall color, and it does reasonably well in urban settings. In addition, it's an attractant for pollinators and fruit-eating wildlife. In the Victorian era, it was planted as a grotesque ornamental. The national champion Devil's Walking Stick as of 2021 is in Baltimore, Maryland. It's 31 inches in circumference, 28 feet tall, with a 24-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion Devil's Walking Stick is in Jefferson County at Jefferson Memorial Forest. It's 13 inches in circumference, 26 feet tall, with a 10-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Devil's Walking Stick. The common names, Devil's Walking Stick and Hercules Club, is due to the sharp thorns all along the stems and the branches, and the name Prickly Ash is due to the vague similarity of the large compound leaves. It is said to have the largest compound leaves in North America. Devil's Walking Stick was admired by the Iroquois because of its medicinal usefulness, and early American settlers also used the plant for medicinal purposes, including its alleged properties of curing toothaches. It's also been reported that handling the roots and the bark can cause skin irritation in some people. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood, and enjoy the beautiful Kentucky trees, including the very unique Devil's Walking Stick.